Usher, watching this video on an empty stomach will cause feelings of extreme hunger and FOMO. You've been warned. Hey guys, it's Abram and Misa. We wanted to give you a quick peek into the hotel room that we stayed at, the Premier Havana. It's right on the beach. It does have a tunnel that leads to the beach and nightclubs. And the view from the room was spectacular. Check this out. And uh, we came here in October and it is in the rainy season. So um, we warn you that you have to check the weather before you want to go. And when we were lucky because when we was there, it's just some day that sunny and some day that rain. And on the day that we decide to go out, it's rain. And here's our cute couple's tea because we're cute like that. Here is the rocks by uh, this name Hong Chong. So uh, this is the famous place for tourists. And uh, in a sunny day, you can take a boat to the island, and it's pretty much like cool. Yeah, but as luck would have it, the one day that we picked to go out, it rained. So we're waiting for the grab to get here. And uh, the rain's coming. It's coming. And there's a taxi honking at us, but we're waiting on the grab. Babe, you want to take the taxi or the grab? I'm ready to take the grab. Okay. Yeah. But the rain's coming. We were right over there. That's where we were. And now, yeah, we're hiding out over here because there's cover in the rain. Yep. On our way back to the hotel, we decided to take a stop off at a pagoda. This pagoda is called. Bonaga Temple. Yeah, it was actually a nice big area. Uh, the rain broke just in time for us to kind of check it out. As we were leaving, it started to sprinkle again. Uh, but definitely, this is not a place to miss if you're going to Natrang. And you can take some really awesome, cute pictures, like the couple pictures. And then the not so awesome couple pictures, like this one with me, because I'm so fat. But so I'm talking. also handsome. Yeah. So here, I'm handsome. This picture wouldn't have been awesome if it wasn't for my face. Ice cream. What is Cam? Ice cream. Go for ice cream. So we're trying to figure out where we want to eat. We've got Ko Tu, Ko Trang, and Ko Tam. These are all three different spots to go that have all been highly recommended. We're just picking them off the color of the chairs. We're going to go with the green chairs. The tiny chairs. I'm just going to double it up so I don't break them and fall through. There we go. So this restaurant is kind of set up on the street, uh, so it's almost like street food-ish. Actually, yeah, it's straight up street food. Uh, today we had opted for some seafood bonseo. If you don't know what bonseo is, Misi's going to explain it for you now. <laughs> So the ban says you're gonna have a, a layer of flour on that and then you're gonna put some seafood and some like other vegetable. Uh, as you see that is stream and sweet. So we have two style of ban the, the This one is the central, the central style which is smaller, just like a blade. But you're gonna see another style of bansel is bigger, it's much bigger, it's from the south. So you can see a lot of them in Ho Chi Minh City. And then they lit this one on fire. I guess this was a special one, or maybe they were showing off for the camera. But either way, we've got fire! Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Yes, those are scissors on the plate. You will cut it into small pieces. And then these are Bangkok. Yeah, this is called Bangkok. It's also a seafood dish. It's delicious. As you can see, uh, it has quite a bit of herbs and vegetables on it with greens. Uh, it is something that you eat. It's kind of small that you can fit in your hand. Uh, now we're back to the bonseo. Uh, absolutely delicious. That evening we met up with my friend Matt and got some burgers and wings, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and then afterwards we went to the sailing club to get some ghoulish cocktails because it was Halloween after all. There was also live entertainment uh, at the location and you'll see that in just a second. But 
It was an amazing evening. Uh, the rain was staying away for quite a while, and uh, we got to enjoy the majority of the evening with it being dry, uh, with only a small shower here and there. But this is what it was right on the beach, as you can see the sand. Uh, an amazing event, and it made for a great Halloween uh, for a low key, chilling Halloween. The next day, we decided to go to the beach and do a little mini photo shoot where you see Misa here modeling and posing. All right. <laughs> so, we are on our last day of vacation here in the Trang. Uh, so far, it's been great. It's been relaxing. We've had some fun. Great, yeah. Yeah. Great time. Yeah. Uh, and now we're eating a great bowl of pho. Uh, we look for a recommendation for a place uh, from the hotel. Sorry about the noise. They're cleaning up the table next to us. Uh, we looked for a recommendation for a great place to eat some pho, and we're having it. Uh, put some pictures in for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What do you think? Better than Fale? No. Fale is better. It's just because you're Saigonese and you're like, I'm just going to stick to my Saigon place. I see. Uh, but yeah. Uh, great, delicious, delicious pho. Yeah. Delicious. Uh, yeah. So maybe maybe we should give him a quick shot. Yeah. I'll show you. I am. Right. So this is what you're working with. Yeah. It is delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Alright. Oop. Now you're seeing all the other stuff on the table. Ha! Ah. Uh, but yeah, that's been the vacation so far. Uh, we went to the beach this morning. We had a little bit of fun. It was awesome. And now we are wrapping it up. We're going to the mud baths next. That's what we're going to do. That's going to end our vacation after that. Head to the hotel, pick up our stuff, and then off to going back, going back to the real world. Uh, vacation will be over. However, this is <laughs> what exactly what we needed we'll be back to doing Soon. this probably next month uh maybe we'll make it a monthly vacation go to a new spot i don't know we'll see we, we'll hope. we hope yeah so all right well we're gonna eat this delicious food you guys will just keep watching yeah just keep watching we'll we'll be back later all right bye bye wow that's all i have to say wow I am full, like stuck, but I can't stop eating. I want to order more. So does Lisa. I want more. This is really good stuff. I'll uh, make the next shot the name of this place. So you got to come back. And if you see him behind me, uh, I don't know if you can focus on that. Uh, in 2009. They made the world's largest bowl of pho, is what that's saying. Like, y'all, why didn't they call me on that day? I would have definitely eaten a lot, a lot of pho. Ten years ago. Huh? That ten years ago. But still, they should have called me. I loved pho ten years ago. Right? After having the pho, we went to I Resort to relax a little bit. Uh, at the resort, it had the mud baths as well as a large herbal bath. It also had a pool and an area to chill uh, and some food. So we, we paid for the deluxe package. We got a little bit of everything. Uh, as you're seeing, food and pictures coming up. These are other pictures of food from the trip. We decided to toss them in. Uh, the seafood pictures because we didn't get them in in the first video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it uh, and you were able to enjoy the train through our eyes and our experience. We will definitely be going back. Uh I got french fries!
uh, and we're going to be looking to travel to a new place every month. If you like what you've seen so far, please leave a like, shoot us a comment, and subscribe. It does help to keep us motivated. Bye! Bye.